But first, tell us the name of your or your shop and what are some of the services that they can um, obtain from you guys. So right here is Team CNCL my Motorsports. I'm partners with my buddy, uh, my buddy Clay. He pretty much brought me in since when I first met him. I, I used to buy car parts off him when I was 18 years old. And then I used to buy from him like wholesale wise. And then he one day saw me, he's like, you know what? You're hungry enough to go out and do it. I'm gonna make you a partner. I'm gonna show you the game. I'm gonna take you in my wing. He's been in the game for 20 plus years already. So, I mean, I can't doubt him. And so ever since then, he changed my life, showing me all this type of stuff. So I really got into it, man. And pretty much what we do here is like everything you see on these cars, everything you see, you're gonna see on the video later and inside the shop is pretty much what we like to do. So all around, we do our best to get you guys what you guys need, you know? Cool. Yeah. Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to Another What of Anatomy. Today we're here at Carson Coffee, um, showing some support for Drew and his business. We'll get into it in a little bit. Uh, so, Drew, thank you so much for making some time yeah, for us sure. and for the invitation, man. So, tell us, man, what do you what do you drive? Okay, so behind me we have my uh, 2001 Honda Honda S2000 actually, and then my 2017 Honda Civic. Okay. Type R. So I've owned this car for about three months. This car I bought as a beater. So if you guys follow my Instagram, you guys can see how beat up and how. Um, it was just didn't right. care about so i built this car literally from the ground up all the way to the bottom to what you see it is a few more things and i'll be pretty much finished with it so with this one it just has the intake headers exhaust you guys can see the roll cage the custom paint job the bumpers and all that other fancy stuff that goes along with it inside you have your basic red interior which is pretty much what i like and then you have a carbon fiber steering wheel and things like that so other than that it has you know the wheels the uh, brakes and rotors and suspension tell us about your wheel setups there. that you have entire setup so these are the Ray, the Gram lights. Um, they are 17 by nine with the 40 offset, which is pretty high. Mm -hmm. Anybody with S1000 understands that it's really hard to pick wheels um, because Fitment does this. Let me show you. When you try to figure it out, this is what sacrifices you get when you realize that you can't run really, <laughs> really wide wheels. Mm -hmm. um, so when I was playing with the suspension, because my first time doing a car like this, I didn't realize that having such wide wheels would damage it so fast. So on my first turn, it was already over. So once I uh, realized that, I was able to adjust the suspension, get the camera kits and everything else hooked on, and now we're good. So now I can pack as much as I want it, and I won't have to worry about it. So okay. that's pretty much fair when we want to be doing that. What about in the engine compartment? What do you have going on? It's pretty much stock, man, other than an engine intake that doesn't belong on it because the car came with an intake that wasn't specifically for it. So it works just fine, but um, I still have to change that up. And I pretty much, that's the stock besides the headers and the exhaust. So okay. other than that, I'm gonna show it some crazy love a little later down the line. But me fixing it up was pretty much as far as I wanted to go for it, and speaking as now, you know. And so you say uh, showing some love down the road, uh, what kind of vision do you have for it? Possibly a turbo kit, but we're living in California, so maybe that, that'll change my different <laughs> point of direction. Everyone knows how hot it is out here. To even drive one of these cars that's pretty much stand out is it's pretty pretty difficult so okay, okay. maybe down the line i could do so or maybe alone i just enjoy the way it is you know i hear you okay and what kind of wing did you say you have we have the spoon sports spoiler okay i can see um i just have to re-clear it because i bought it from a guy mm -hmm. uh, a really good deal on it it's really hard to get because these take about three months to even get here before even ordering so mm -hmm. um, i just had to have it i was part of the big wing gang and i just had to do it so. <laughs> That Sweet it. man, that's beautiful. So now let's start talk, talking about your uh, your Type R. So right here you have 2017 Honda Civic Type R. Now this car I've done, you know, the carbon fiber hoods, the carbon on the actual fender parts, and then I'm gonna have the fenders coming soon, carbon fiber wing. And other than that, it has a Mishimoto intake, engine intercooler, has the Nvidia R400, and then we have it on the bottle, so it's on the nitrous kit, uh, just for the, the front mount intercooler. Nothing crazy. <laughs> Doesn't mean we're fast and like in the movies you speed off, okay? So other than that, I just want to do something different, something unique, and something that stands out different from what you see in the world. So other than that, I mean, I love it. I put it on, I lowered it on iBox Springs. It has the Volks racing wheels and then some pearly tires. So we're pretty much set off after that. And what kind of uh, specs do you have on the wheels? These are 17, nine and a half, 38 offset, and five by one twenty. That's it. And what are your your future vision for this one? Um, pretty much leave it the way it is. <laughs> really? No, I want to put the, I want to put the carbon fiber fenders, uh, ceramic coat the front, and make sure that the paint lasts a little while more than it should. And I pretty much I think that's where I would be. You know, my fun my fun money is going to be inside these other cars that I can beat up and abuse. I'm too scared to really get this one to go down. Um, this is my reliable family car. My daughter, I don't want to take her in something that's going to fall apart. Rather take <laughs> something that's rattling. Work, you know, so I don't want nothing to rattle. You know, when you get on it, you feel like everything's falling apart. I don't want to feel like that. So this is just an amazing car. Like you can feel this car and just feel like 
It's just something Honda's never done. It's right. just real smooth. So. And so tell us why these specific cars? Honda S2000, I mean, you can't beat it. So it's a perfect top down beach cruiser car. I love it. I mean, I've always seen it, even since Fast and Furious. I mean, it's not Johnny Trans, but it's definitely. <laughs> it it's doesn't definitely have 100 mine. grand under yeah, the hood? It's not 100 grand, it's like 5,000, you know? <laughs> so other than that, it's, it's, it's just been always been my dream car. When you look at it, it's just amazing. So I had to get one, and I finally did after letting go of my RSX, my Turbo DM1, all other fun stuff. I just had to get me one of these. I'm the type of person I gotta experience top, a lot of stuff. Right. You know what I mean? So um, my my goal was to experience all type of stuff. So eventually, this will probably get sold, and I'll do it again. You know, as everybody's already used to saying, I won't hold on to things much long, very long. This one I can't, cause I'm still paying for it. <laughs> or else no. it'd be for sale. So no, but it's very beautiful. So I mean, the, the the touches that you've done are definitely tasteful. And so can't wait to see the future plans for this one, even if it's minors. And then for this one, you say you just got to go a little bit more with a little more speed and, and things down the road. Drew, so you said uh, you're part CNC? Yeah. CNC. Cool, man. So what are some of the services that we can get from you guys? You can get a lot of knowledge about wheels and tire suspension, kind of something that, you know, you don't go into a car game really understanding about things, mm -hmm. certain things. Like most people don't even know, understand how, what bulb number their car takes. Right. Which that alone is just knowledge in itself. Like when you know this business, you understand what these go to what modifications are going to work or even bucket seats what do you need to do it because most people think you grab them you throw them in and it just works it's, there's a lot more complications right. to that so what we do here is we try to and now obviously we don't know everything in the world but from what we see on a day-to-day -day basis oh, i have over eight years of doing this my buddy has over 20 plus so we do definitely do our best to guide you in the type of way to where you want to be mm -hmm. you know so what we could do here is you can get knowledge on steering wheel setups you can get knowledge on type of suspension what offset is on some wheels what how what certain things do and kind of like answer your basic day-to-day -day questions about what it is to fix up a car and what it takes and what kind of certain things fit, you know, things like that, things of that sort. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, I like I like the setup that you have going on. You know, you have wheels, seats, strut bars. You know, the whole uh, the Fast and the Furious, you know, movie <laughs> playing in the background. Yeah. So I definitely I do appreciate the fact that you took the time to uh, talk to us about uh, the services that you provide. And at the same time, today you're holding your first cars and coffee, right? Yeah, first one. Why? Um, it, it's actually my buddy Tank, Tank Street Envy. Um, they had to get me up with a proposal of an idea, mm -hmm. and I decided, you know, it, it's cool. Like I, I would, uh, I like to give exposure to the shop, and I, I understand that Sunday is my only day off. So literally, like, <laughs> this is my taking my one day off, but. I have to give sacrifices when you go into business, the business runs you, you don't run it, you know what I mean? So you have to do a lot of things to keep your name out there, keep fresh, and, and to constantly remind people that we're here to help you guys. So Cars and Coffee is cool, 8 o'clock in the morning, you know, you be here 8 to 11, you have a good environment, you have a lot of people, it's chill, you say what's up, and you get the day started with cars. I mean, what's better than going with cars, and then afternoon you go off to do your shows and you go to work and do it all over again. So yeah, I want to provide, especially something different, because we're actually having Hector from the movie Fast and Furious actually be here, which is... A, like a stepping stone for us to like really get out there for something different you know Definitely. so me having that and and being able to in position to provide that to people and make not only like to certain people like that's like a dream to get something signed from somebody who was in a movie that we all grew up to watch right over and over and over again yes. I, I, I watched that movie 10 30 times already in the last week and I, every part it just gets better and better like that yeah. movie will never get old to me right you know what i mean so that's for what he is and how you can provide for that you know like if I can make that happen, it's like a dream, making dreams reality for everybody else. Like I always preach and everything I say, you know, from coming from McDonald's to being able to say this, it's two different worlds, you know, to right. be able to do so. So all I like to do is preach to everybody that really you could just do whatever you want, man. And you can, as long as you build it, they will come. So this is my foundation to build. And, and funny my, you mentioned that you know? because the car's coffee starts at 8, but already the parking lot's full and it's 7, 10, 7, 15. Yes. So, you know, that's awesome, man. I feel like you're providing a very good service and you're creating a good bond with the community. So keep doing what you're doing for the cars for yourself I'd say I, I got some definitely um, some moves I want to make in the next few years because obviously I can't sacrifice my whole time to work in here because mm -hmm. I basically live here man these four walls you see like I'm here every day Monday through Saturday from 8 o'clock in the morning 8 o'clock at night like live here live breathe and do this like with my whole life like this is what I do you know right. so sometimes it takes a lot of strain on my family uh, my daughter I don't really get to see her much she's growing up basically where I'm just at work and I don't the last thing I wanted her to just grow up like, oh my dad was just at work you know what I mean mm -hmm. hard work is good family's gonna be there forever you have to sort your time different so right now I'm, I'm, I'm grinding out on my 20s so I can relax in my 30s and 40s and 50s and I and I make that happen you know what I mean so I right now that. I'm making my sacrifices while my daughter's little so she doesn't really remember by the time she gets 10 15 I'm gonna make her her dreams to reality and I'm gonna give her back and my family back and provide 
And especially when you come from nothing, man, and you come from eating beans and mayonnaise and tortillas and not really having much on your plate, it really makes you hungry to go out and get it. So that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make, give my family back something and, and get, pay, pay my parents back for all the hard work they did for us and show them That's that they awesome. raise a good guy, you know? That's awesome, man. Well, Drew, thank you so much for your time, yeah, man. I man, truly appreciate so it. Can't, you know, can't wait for future plans for the shop, for you as a, in a personal level, for your build. Um, and I do, you You also paint cars, right? Paint cars, paint body. Okay, yep, so like body, that. paint. I'm trying um, to be the one stop to do it all, except for rap. I don't believe in putting a bunch of adhesive all over your car, but that's just me. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather just paint it. Uh, personal touch, that's, that's <laughs> all right. I want, I want to provide a good paint job, and you guys can see my 1000 we painted that. So, I mean, I, I'd rather have something that's permanent rather than something that might, might last, and you know, things like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> going a little rant there. No, that's cool, like man. That. You well, can thank, do what you want. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. I truly appreciate yeah. it, man.